Good morning, fishing freaks. It has been a fishing weekend. Me and my good buddy Craig over here at Toledo Bend. It's kind of like Craig's bachelor party. Our last, uh, I don't want to say our last, but his last weekend as a uh, an unmarried man that we were going on a fishing trip together. But he wanted to go out into the woods, do some adventure type stuff. So we loaded up our kayaks and we are over here at the biggest lake in Texas, fishing in our kayaks. Wanna head out here? What? The uh, guy got drunk last night and fire extinguished your truck. You're kidding me, right? No, no. You're kidding me? No, I promise. I don't know if Are you serious? Yeah, I promise. I don't know who fire extinguishes a truck, but you can obviously see the uh, the powder from the fire extinguisher. It looks like the culprit started to write his name. He, he might have erased something here, too. He was like, I'm going to write my name. My name's Mike, <laughs> and I'm going to get about to that eye, and I'm going to say, I'm going to not write the name on the truck I just vandalized. It's still dark, but we're gonna go ahead and hit the water, get to the, the juicy stuff before the sun really comes up. You ready to rock and roll, Craigers? I'm ready, are you? I'm ready, baby. Craig just had his first strike of the day. Is that on a frog? Yeah. Tons of lily pads in here. That's what we've been focusing on. Oh man, that's a pretty sunrise right there. You had four blow-ups? Yeah, but they're not swallowing it. I think, I think the junior's better suited to hitting this. You mean this frog right here? Yeah, I mean that frog right there. <laughs> Thanks, bud. You're saying you need one of these frogs right here? Camera down. <laughs> Craig's like, put the camera down and start casting a the frog. They apparently want this little frog. He's had four blow-ups and has not connected, but they're, they've been eating this little junior out here. So I'm gonna put down the camera just a little bit and I'm gonna catch a fish or two. Oh. What a strike. I don't know if I still have him. Yeah I got him. Still got him. Oh my gosh. What a blow up. Wow. Look at that guys. That's that's a choke fest right there. Like everyone that's eaten this frog has been pretty deep. Nice. Bright three and three quarters. Healthy fish. A little old, old burst of go here. Go grow. Get bigger. First one of the day. Not bad. I mean, can't complain about that. Epic sunrise. Pick up a frog, get a bite. I don't think it gets better than topwater fishing, frog fishing. Just, it's amazing. We fished a lot of this, this kind of stuff yesterday and got bit during the middle of the day. It's like they're really far back there. Kind of these older pad stems seem to be the deal and these little shoreline grasses. So you guys stay tuned for the Thursday video and you'll get to see all the action. Literally yesterday, Craig had a fish bite his frog in some of this grass right here, jump on top of the grass and was like flopping around. He missed his frog. Flopped on top of the grass. Seconds flopping on the grass. A few seconds just flopping on top and then went back into the water. Like that's how in this stuff they are. Oh gosh. As soon as it hit the water, man. Oh, I have no idea if I have this fish. Probably not. Nope. See how shallow the water is though. I mean it's a foot deep. Soon as my frog hit the water, exploded on it. Oh. 
Little guy on the rage toad. Oh, he came out and just had himself a time with that frog. Little guy. Little guy on the toad. Love them all. They're all good. It's like white. I think I got another one on the frog. I'm not sure. It's in the salad. Let's see what we got. Yeah, there's a fish. There he is, covered in grass. Fun size. Got another two ski. Can't seem to get out of the two pound range here with this frog, the buzz frog, but they are eating it. Look how healthy that guy is. Smells good. Oh, yeah. How about this? Look at this spot right here, guys. This is. We're going to make 10 to 15 casts. <laughs> and if there's not a blow up, we go home. I think so. Craig's going to make 10 to 15 casts in here. If there's not a blow up, he says we're going home. This is how we've caught all the big ones too, has been in little coves like this. Okay, that was one. Count them down. That was one. I'm you one. got 14 left to go. I let it pause for effect. Pause for effect. Oh, Freaking huge one, bro. That was huge. That was a big one. That was big. He just got That That was suction power right there. Let's see it. Where was it? <laughs> it all looks the same. <laughs> you got a matrix of pads here. Justin, that was a good one. That was. That was. There he is. Got him? Yeah. Get him, bro. Get him out. Oh, are you yeah. kidding me? Look at this. Look at this. Dude, what was that, a man? Huge Did you fish. even set the hook? Yes, I set the hook. I had him. I felt it. Dude, let's see the instant replay. I'm not sure about that. Check the replay. Dude. You just got owned by a five pounder Check the right replay. there. There he goes. He's going in. Real quiet. Get him, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, decent. Come here. <laughs> get in there and get you a handful. Man. Yes. Beautifully done, Craig. Hey. Beautifully done, I brother. Felt like, I felt like you for a second, you know? <laughs> Let's set him on this lily pad, watch him kick off. What All do you right. think? All right, hopefully he won't splash us too bad. Nice and easy for him. There he goes. Hey. Hey, how awesome. <laughs> how awesome is the frog bite? Dude, that was amazing. All right, let's get out of here, find the next shaded cove, and go slay him. <laughs> Feels like there could be four or five pounder in here. Good one. Uh, skinny. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. I like frog fishing. I don't know about you, but it's fun. That one didn't completely inhale it, but he had it. Oh, man. He was, uh, I would say, midway. Midway. Just gorgeous, man. Ah, oh, all right, I'll let you go. Another tasty one. I'm gonna let it go. Let it go with all the grass around. 
just cruises off. I think my frog is done. It is tore up. The head's all jacked up. I don't even think it'll float anymore. That might, that might be the last fish I'm going to catch on this frog, but it was a good one. Craig just had another sweet bite. You still got him? I don't know. Oh no, he came off. Oh man. Yeah. I pulled it on the pad, saw him swirl. Then he, then I dumped it off, and he got it. Sounded like large Marge. Well, we've had some pretty good fish. Um, I want to say we've had two four pounders. We've had a three pounder frog, just frog city. Why would you ever tie anything else on? What? <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're fishing in a place like this, I don't know why you would, man. It's just, it just gets you excited. It's an exciting way to fish. And even if you don't catch them, you, you, you watch it crawl over these lily pads. It just looks good. Yeah, even the misses are cool. We've had uh, a really good weekend fishing out here, but it's time to get home back to civilization, and get home to the girls. Yeah. Alrighty. In case uh, any of you kayakers are looking at doing this, I've got a Thule uh, rack up here and I just put some pool noodles on top and I'm just running the four, uh, I'm running four ratchet straps, uh, one on each side of the handle here and the back ones I run through the bottom hole of the Hobie and it seems to be really solid. They're all pulling against each other so it keeps it pretty tight. We're locked down, ready to go. Let's roll. If you look at this beautiful crystallization right here, that is from a fire extinguisher that a raging Cajun sprayed on my truck last night. Uh, at an estimated, what, 3.45 in the morning? 3.45 a.m. Because we ran into them at 5 and they told us to have a good night. <laughs> Craig, it's been a good adventure. Hey, thanks for setting that up. Well, I'm gonna take that seatbelt off though. Final stretch. I think between all the bugs we hit on the way there and the fire extinguisher fluid that's still on my truck, I think this bad boy needs a little wash. Well guys, it was a crazy weekend. Um, awesome fishing though. I had a blast with my buddy Craig and I kind of wanted to go over the frogs that we were throwing. You know, Craig turned me on to this Spro Junior and he was killing them on that uh, the first day we got there to the lake and um, I had one in my box and it definitely made a difference. They were eating this one a lot better. We weren't missing as many fish on this and then I was throwing also a Strike King Rage Toad and I was putting that that uh, drop dead VMC hook, the 1 8 ounce uh, belly weighted hook that I showed you guys in the last vlog on that. And I really like that hook. It's perfect for frog fishing. So it was like frog heaven out there. Uh, we filmed all day Saturday. Make sure to go check that video out on Thursday. That's gonna be fun. Uh, we caught a lot of fish on, on frogs and doing some flipping as well. But just a great time over there in Louisiana. Fishing was great. I'm glad to see Toledo Ben and Rayburn really just putting out some good fish right now and, and coming back after being low for so long. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about kayak fishing. You know, I got a kayak a few years back and I've had a bass boat as well for many years, but the kayak fishing is just so different and it's such a, a challenge. I really enjoy doing it. And the best part is you don't use any gas. So obviously you know my opinion on it. I love it, I think it's cool. But what do you think about it? If you had the choice to fish in a bass boat versus a kayak, what would you do and why? Let me know in the comments. Hey, if you missed last week's videos, go check those out. Make sure you hit the like button here and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks again for watching guys. We'll catch y'all later. Guys, I'm gonna show you. This is what Dave Murphy yeah. calls lasagna. Yeah! Yeah!
That's uh, got a stuck, dude. dude. They got pretty bad gill plates on them. Oh, dude, bats. that's okay. I need the scars right now. Just, just, like just lift them like a bass, bro. For a big meatball in there. You got him, Justin. Come here. Give me your face. Big meatball. In this mm. Yeah. Finally got me a snook. First one. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that giant dude. 